Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 1 Mirror Image. I've had a lot of feedback, people asking me to do a tutorial on making a mirror image or a copy of whatever is on one side of the screen automatically taking place on the other. So I'm doing this quick tutorial. I'm starting with the default settings. 550 for the width and 400 for the height. Open the library panel. Down here in the corner, I'm clicking on this, what says new symbol. I don't think you can see it was what it says. And make sure movie clip is selected. And call this image, I-M-A-G-E underscore M-C. And now we're inside of that movie clip. I want to make a square first of all, or, or a rectangle. And I want no fill, so keep the black for the stroke. And come up here, click this so there's no fill. And make sure rectangle tool is selected. And just make a any size rectangle for now. Highlight it. Open the properties panel and make sure this is unlocked and I want it to be the width half the stage stage is 550 so let's make this 275 and the height is 400 enter that and there's what I'm working with that square there fit the window there it is lock this layer and call this one frame f-r-a-m-e just so I keep track insert a layer and call it ball b-a-l-l -L. let's select frame one and let's make a quick ball uh, let's keep the black for the stroke make the ball red pick up your oval tool and make a ball. There it is. Let's go up to frame 40 each. Select both of those layers. Insert a keyframe. And let's just take that ball and move it, say, down here. Right click anywhere in here. We're in here. Create a classic tween. So we have the ball doing that and let's go up further to another 40 at 80 insert keyframes and let's just have the ball come back down here and create classic tween so we're going to the ball go bing bing then jump back up bing bing go back to scene one call this image I M A G E this layer make this down to about 50% so we can see the whole thing select frame 1 open the library panel and drag this image out on the stage using your arrow keys put it so that it's basically on the right hand side of my stage using the selection tool highlight the whole thing find the crosshairs right click copy so I'm copying that whole layer lock that layer insert one call this image left I M A G E capital L that's the left hand side select that first frame anywhere down here right click paste in place and that's put that image right on top of there go up to modify down to transform go over here and flip horizontally using your arrow keys move that over to the left until these two lines line up and now test that movie and very simply whatever happens on this side will happen on this side no matter what you're doing here. 
open the library panel, select this movie clip image, and let's go up to frame 80. Just click here and insert keyframes. And there's the ball here. Let's make this small as we can, 25%. And on this keyframe, make sure the only layer that's unlocked is the ball layer. Let's take the ball and put it back here. Let's go up to about 145 ish. Insert two keyframes here. And let's take that ball and put it way over so it passes right through this square. In here, create class between. So now we have this happening lock that layer, select the ball layer, insert a layer and call it mask, M-A-S-K, select frame one, lock the mask layer, unlock the frame layer, select frame one, highlight it, if it isn't highlighted, click on it and highlight it, get those crosshairs, Right there, right click, copy that. Lock that frames layer, unlock, unlock the mask layer, select frame one. Right click, paste in place. Come grab your bucket, and it doesn't matter what color you have, fill that square. Pick up your selection tool, double click on mask layer, Select mask, OK. And when you do this little grid, green grid comes in here. Click on the ball layer and drag it up to the right. And now that's the mask. So let's test this out now. That's the first part. Now the ball's over here coming. See that? We can't see it. That's the original one where it bounces. Now the ball's coming through here. It's the mask letting you see it only that part. So I'll give you a couple ideas on using this mirror image. It's a very short video. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.